Okay, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to work out uh, the correct formula for salts. Okay, so we'll start off with uh, the name of the salt. Okay, so something like sodium chloride. Okay, first thing you've got to do then is get yourself a periodic table. Okay, something like this. Okay, if you stood in AQA. On the back of the periodic table, you have this thing here, right, which is where you can look up the charges of all your ions. Okay, so I'm going to do that for you. Okay, so for sodium, you look it up and you'd find that sodium is Na plus. Okay, and you look up a chloride and you'll find that chloride is minus one. So sodium plus one, chloride minus one. Okay. To work out the formula, you've got to remember that all salts are overall neutral in terms of their charge. So our challenge now is to get a combination of sodiums and chlorides to be neutral. Okay? So if we're a sodium is plus one, a chloride is minus one, we're going to have a ratio of one to one. Okay? For every one sodium, there's one chloride. Okay? So the formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. Okay? There's no number here or here. Okay, because if there's no number, that means it's one. Okay, let's take uh, another example then, something like uh, copper sulfates. Okay, so if you go to your periodic table again and you look up copper, you'll find that copper is Cu2 plus. Okay, and a sulfate is SO4. 2 minus. Okay, probably one of the things that's worth memorizing, especially if you're thinking about doing chemistry any more past GCSE. Okay, but don't worry, you get to look it up in the exam. Okay, so same as before, we've got to make sure that overall this is neutral. Okay, so for every one copper that's 2 plus, I need one sulfate that's 2 minus. So just like the previous example, this is a 1 to 1. Okay, so the formula for copper sulfate is CuS. Okay, let's try another one then. So this time we're going to go for uh, magnesium nitrate. Okay, again, get it at your periodic table. You'll find that magnesium is Mg2 plus, and a nitrate is NO3 minus. Okay, slightly trickier this time in that the charges are different, okay? So this time the ratio is for every one magnesium, right, I need two nitrates, okay? Two times minus one, minus two, plus two equals zero, okay? So the way we write that is we've got one magnesium. Now our nitrate needs to go in brackets. So we write NO3 in a bracket, and then we stick a two then okay so that means two of everything that's inside that bracket okay let's have a go at another one so let's try ammonium uh, let's go for ammonium sulfate okay again get your periodic table and you look up an ammonium which is nh4 plus Okay, sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Okay, so to get our charges to be neutral, this time uh, for every one sulfate, which is 2 minus, I need two ammoniums. Okay, so this time it's a ratio of 2 to 1 in that direction. Okay, and then the way we write that is similar to the magnesium nitrate example. Your ammonium goes in brackets and we stick two. Okay, and the sulfate, there's only one sulfate, so the sulfate goes there. Okay, so four examples there of how you can do uh, work, how you work out the formula for, uh, for a salt. Okay, right, here's one for you guys to have a go at. Okay, so I'm going to write it in the middle. If you press pause when I draw a pause symbol, you can have a go at doing one. So if you, let's take copper nitrate, okay? So if 
if you press pause, I'll give you the answer. Okay, so welcome back. So if you go to looking around this uh, sheet here, copper is in there already for you. So copper is Cu2 plus. Okay, nitrate is over here, NO3 minus. Okay, that means for every one copper, I need two nitrates. So the formula for copper nitrate is Cu and NO3 goes in brackets with a two down the bottom. Okay, cool. So formulas of salts.